This is query's term, SQL and C-sharp in Excel. Let's start with SQL. With query's term, anything that's marked as a table shows up as a database table. We get syntax highlighting, error highlighting, code completion. We can write the queries ourselves, or we can use the SQL Copilot for this. We can also connect to external databases. For example, here I'm connecting to a SQL Server instance, and then I'm also bringing in one of the Excel tables to the database. I can then query it and use this to import the data into a database or do joins between Excel tables and database tables. Next, I can also do uh, C sharp. Excel tables show up as collections of strongly typed objects, so if I add a new column to the table, I can immediately use it in my uh, query. Next, we can extend Excel with C sharp, so I'm going to create a project. I'm creating an Excel function here. I'm going to call it add to numbers. Once I build the project, I can immediately use the function inside Excel. If I want to, I can also debug the function. I can also use NuGet packages in my function. So for example, here I'm going to download the humanizer package and then use it to build a function that uh, converts a number into English words. I can then publish this function to make it available to other people in my company. Other people can then access the packages that I make or somebody else uh, through the extensions dialog. So for example, here I downloaded a for Reddit package and now I can use it to search for posts uh, in the Croatia subreddit about uh, Luka Modric. Another interesting one is the Windy Query one. We can use this to run SQL queries from uh, Excel cells. And these SQL queries can reference Excel tables. Uh, next, let's show the searchlight package. This package lets us uh, na navigate quickly between tables and buttons and uh, all of that. We don't need to know C-sharp to build uh, these functions. We can use the preprocessor to define them with SQL as well. So here I'm using it to uh, load data from the database interactively. Somebody in IT can build this and then publish it so other people in the company can use this. We can also automate workbooks. This is an example of a simple automated workbook that has uh, two uh, event handlers, one when the text changes and another one when the button is clicked. If we take a look at the source code, it mainly consists of a component class which uses data binding to access the named range and the uh, table from Excel and has two event handlers that respond to events from uh, Excel. Here's an example of a slightly more complicated workbook that was made by a client. And this one has its own ribbon uh, and I can use it to invoke various uh, actions on the, uh, in the workbook app. This one in particular uses a custom data context. I'm using it to define uh, data types on the columns and also to add relationships between tables. So that basically gives me an ORM, which I'm using over here. If you'll notice, I'm navigating from projects to uh, clients. I can also define custom data context. So for example, here I'm defining a data context which hooks into the monday.com API, and then I can use this to run SQL queries or c -sharp queries against the monday.com boards. So for example, if I want to query the person's board, I can do that from uh, SQL fairly easily. I can also do updates as well. For example, if I want to update uh, Timothy's department ID to two, I can do that very easily with the following SQL. Okay, so that was all I can squeeze into the three minutes.